Challenge. No buffs whatsoever. All of your towers must be good solo. That means you can use your choice of dart, tack, bomb, boomerang, ace, heli, Darling and Spike Factory with either Churchill or Quincy as your hero. Bet we're gonna be using this strategy then right here. Bomb, Captain Churchill, Spike Factory, and the Heli. And I know this strategy looks completely terrible. But we're gonna be taking it all the way to round 40 in today's video. And let me just say, this game was crazy. So if you guys wanna see more challenge content like this, let me know by dropping a like on today's video. Let's try to actually hit 2,000 likes. And as well, if you happen to be new to the channel, we are trying to hit 500,000 subscribers by the end of 2024. And we are around 70,000, maybe 65,000 away. I can't exactly remember, not gonna lie. But it would mean the world to me if you click that subscribe button so we can hit that goal. It's free and you can always change your mind at the end of the day. Also, don't forget to use my creator code, Voltrix, in the battles too in BTD6 shop. Hashtag ad. And it looks like our opponent's hero is gonna be Agent Jericho. We instead are going to be using Captain Churchill. Guys, this game is going to be interesting. That's because he has Agent Jericho as his hero, and obviously the camera detection with our strategy is not very good. But let's start off this game with setting exactly two sets of reds, and then space blues behind that until 259 eco. If we do this, then we should be able to just barely afford a round one Captain Churchill here, which I guess I'm going to have right about here, by the way. Unfortunately, he sent me space blues, so... We're gonna be leaking quite a bit. We got that down. Okay. It, it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse, actually. I don't care too about the life advantage, by the way, because again, this strategy already lacks in the camo detection department. So DDTs are definitely gonna be an issue for us. There he goes with Agent Jericho. And also starting off with the ninja. Okay, so starting off with the ninja usually doesn't end well. So with us sending constant eco throughout these earlier game rounds, yeah, he's probably not going to be liking that. Let me set Captain Churchill, by the way, to last as well, just so he shoots more in a straight line here, okay? He's at least going to have to go for the double shot over on his side, right? Yep, there he goes with that. Bro, I'm reading this kid like a freaking book. But here too on round four, let's actually transition into space pink. So space pinks over top of all of these group blues here. He's definitely not going to be liking. Already tower boosted. Beautiful. Got him to leak already a decent amount of lives too. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we need a tower though that can consistently pop uh, black balloons here for round six space blacks. Okay, so I'm thinking, do I want to bomb like right here or more right here? I'm thinking more up here would probably be a bit better, which kind of sucks because I'm probably going to be anti-stalling, aka popping these AI balloons right as they come out the map. And for now, we are trying to focus on our eco game, right? So we should really be trying to stall out these rounds, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Oh, he's got Alk. Okay, so Ninja Alk, but paired with Agent Jericho is definitely interesting. Okay, so he's going to steal our cash. Let me try to use up my money then. Oh, shoot. I couldn't go for Cluster. So he's going to steal pretty much all of our money there. It's a bit unfortunate. Okay, I'm going to set you too close, by the way. Hopefully, that's the play. We might use level 3 here. Yeah, I'm going to use level 3 now. Okay, okay, okay. We're fine. Yeah, again, we just need this bomb to pop off the black balloon layer off these balloons. And then Churchill should be able to clean up the rest, okay? So, let's go for that cluster. Beautiful. And here on round 7, I'm going to send grouped yellows on my opponent. They already can't defend. Oh, my goodness, man. Yeah, see, again, Ninja really struggles during the earlier game rounds. And he's going to struggle even more here. Okay, tower boosted again. Now, I don't want him to die. Okay, he went for a Berserker already on the Alchemist. Okay, so that's really, really good for us. There we already forced that upgrade. Let me try to send a few more group jealous here. Just because our eco is kind of sort of low. But back to Space Blacks here now. So, I'm thinking the best thing for us to go for during these big game rounds in regards to popping camo balloons is going to be a Spike Factory. Okay, which... By the way, he's still in our cash again, bro. I'm going to go for that spike factory like right there. Let's try to use up all of our money here. Yeah, I haven't been avoiding these steals all that well necessarily. Okay, let's target you to close, by the way. And do I want to go with the 302? Or do I want to go with the bottom path? I'm thinking a bottom path spike factory might be a bit better for us in this situation. Okay, yeah, the camo balloons within the AI because of the balloon adjustment. Already starting to spawn in. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Scratch that, bro. Then I'm going to go for the top path. Because of the balloon adjustment, there's going to be a, like a lot of camo ceramics and things like that. So, again, specifically camo ceramics, 
the Spike Balls upgrade is going to be a bit better because Spike Balls does a lot better against Ceramics versus the bottom path upgrades here. Okay, so round 11 though. Let's get up the Spike Balls now. Beautiful. Are we going to actually make this strategy work, bro? Because like, obviously it's a goofy strategy. It really shouldn't work, but the idea is to have the bomb carry us uh, throughout these mid-game rounds. Okay, let me go for at least the bigger bombs here. Uh, I think I need even more than that. Yeah, clearly I do. So let's go for heavy there. And our spike ball is completely gone. Okay, so that's not good. I think it's the black balloon. Yeah. Okay, I think we just need to cross bat this first. Now we should be fine. He's still in our cash, so let me just use up all my money. See, if I have no money on hand for him to steal from, then he just quite literally can't steal from us. Okay, of course he's going to eagle with blacks, but all I need this cluster bomb to do is pop off the black balloon there. And again, Churchill should be able to handle the rest. But again, the idea is for the bomb to kind of carry us throughout these early to mid game rounds, especially to Captain Churchill. Kind of falls off a little bit later on, but that's okay. The Spike Factory is going to help us out against those Camel Balloons, especially too with him uh, having Jericho and the Balloon Adjustment and all that. And then finally, the Heli is going to be our source of Alt Eco. We're definitely going to be able to spam the heck out of Heli Farms on a map like this since we have so much room. So we'll have tons and tons of money coming in left and right. So yeah, I feel like this actually is going to end up working out here, okay? I'm not sure what exactly I should Eco to. I don't know, man. Like, people tend to eco when they use heli on eco. They tend to eco to, like, 2 to maybe 3k eco, I believe. So, we'll push it to at least 2,000 eco. Okay, let's use up all of our money, by the way. Because, again, he's trying to steal from us. So, now he can't steal because we got $0. Beautiful. Okay, round 17. As well with having the spike battery in the back of the map, we're going to be fine against mob class balloon rushes. So, if he wants to send us an unfortified or even a fortified mob here... With having a pretty dense pile of spikes in the back of the map currently. We should be absolutely fine. Okay, we got to watch out for camo black balloons though. Camo black balloons are going to be a little bit of a different story. So maybe now is the time that I start going for a heli as well. Because if I go for a heli farm. If I cross path with a middle path of course. Because we need to do that. Uh, then it's actually going to have the ability to pop camo balloons. A.K.A. camo blacks for us. So we'll go for that. Look, camo blacks here on this round. Yes. Pop those camo black balloons for me, Heli. And let's also uh, transition to pink eco here. Beautiful. Wait. Bro. <laughs> Bro went for the primary top path upgrades on a village when he doesn't have a primary tower within the strategy. The ninja monkey and the alchemist are both magic uh, towers. Newsflash. Okay, so definitely very interesting to see that. Okay, still in our cash again. Let me try to use up all of our cash here with sending zebras. Because Zebras are still, like, good eco balloons to send, by the way. So, that's why I like to send Zebras when he's stealing our cash. But back to pinks here. A lot of balloon adjustment on this round. Gotta watch out here. And on round 21, the balloon adjustment can get quite crazy. But, bro, Captain Churchill, the bomb, just everything has been doing pretty darn well so far. So, GG's defenses. GG's. I probably should send him something, though. I could send him a fortified BFB. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, because, like, nothing's been happening. But, like, bro, like, I was kind of sort of unrushable. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Okay, Moab's down there. Beautiful. I might use my level 3 ability here just to be safe. Yeah. Let's be safe. Let's be safe. Let's be safe. Level 3 is cracked. Okay. Beautiful. I should be setting zebras, by the way, too. Oops. Okay, so, yeah. Let's send those zebras for at least until the end of this round here. I like to eco with zebras from, like, rounds 19 to about the end of round 21. So... We'll get back to Pink Eco here. We're closing in on 3k Eco. We forced a lot of defense over on his side. He went for a Sabo, another Shinobi to buff uh, his future Sticky Bombs. Yep, just went for the Sticky Bombs right there. Bro, I'm literally reading this kid like a book. I'm literally reading him like a book. Okay, Tower Boosted. Uh, ooh, that was close, but I think he's good. Ooh, a lot of Camo Balloons here. Gotta watch out. I wasn't paying attention to my side. Okay, 3k Eco. We're gonna stop there. Let's go for Downdraft. Surely that will help us out. But yeah, fully transitioning now into Heli Alt Eco. We're going to be able to, again, make tons and tons of money. Okay, Fortify Ceramics here. With a downdraft, now it's able to actually push back a lot of these balloons. So that's going to be helpful. And now we should really try to focus on any of these rounds a little bit sooner. Since we're not really focused on our Eco game anymore, but rather Heli Farming. Whereas our opponent is focused on their Eco game. Although... 
We're gonna have the life advantage, guys. Do we try to take this game all the way to round 40 with this terrible strategy? Or maybe I shouldn't even consider it terrible anymore. He's equal with zebras, bro. This man's confident, bro. Okay, we do have to watch out here. Uh, use level three. Cause that's a lot of balloons. I think I'm causing a regrow farm accidentally. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Yeah. I kinda my my spike paw is completely gone, so. Little scary there. I went for a recursive cluster though. That doesn't help me out against camo, so. I'm going to go for another heli up here. I'm going to upgrade you to that. Middle path you as well, just to help us out against camos a little bit more. Beautiful. I'm going to sell you. Can we go for a special operations, possibly? Hmm. Maybe. Yeah, let's try two. Beautiful. So, yeah, I think on my tier 5 helis, I'm going to want them to have the ability to pop a camo balloon. Since, again, camo balloons, even on round 25... Could, in fact, be an issue, especially because the DDT's here on round 26. Gotta watch out for those. But at the moment, we were chilling. Maybe because of that, though, I at least go for... Okay, he's gonna money steal again. And at this point, it's hard to avoid money steals this late on, so... We're just gonna let it be, but... I'll have a 000 spike battery ready to go in case we need to go for, like, a spike storm or something. Four to five mobs, though. Oh, my God. I might just go for the spike storm. Maybe. Use that. I do have the special operations though. That could also help us out. All right, place down my balloon bot and my monkey farmer as well. Just so the ability hot bar is not as like messy and crazy. Uh, but let's go for another support Chinook here. I'm just scared about round 28 here. Gotta definitely watch out. So because I feel like we're in the advantage state compared to our opponents, I'm just gonna upgrade to a spike storm here. Just to be a little bit safer. There's a lot of camos, guys. Look at all these camos. This is ridiculous. Ridiculous, bro. Okay. I'm just gonna go for the Apache uh, dart ship then. Just to really help us out against all of these camo balloons once again. Because, bro, I think I was, like, causing a massive regrow farm right there. So, again, just rather would play it a little bit safer than be sorry. But we probably should go for, like, maybe one more heli farm after this. And then prepare for round 30. Because he did stop equally. So, there's definitely a good, good chance that he plans on rushing us here immediately. I hope he doesn't. But uh, if he does, what are we even going to do, bro? I actually don't know. What we should do is maybe let's go for a bomb up here. Because we can have this as our balloon crush, right? Balloon crush will be able to stall everything underneath fortified BAD layers. Except for the DDTs. We have to watch out for those DDTs. So that's when the spike battery is going to come into play. Hopefully the spike battery can handle the DDTs. And then the balloon crush will handle the rest. But round 30 is here. Of course, BFB should be absolutely fine against that. I mean, $50,000 on hand, so I'm thinking we're going to be good. Of course, he's going to steal our cash, though. See, again, like, there's just not much you can do. I'll upgrade you, though, a little bit. Okay, we're good there. All right, with the Apache Dart Ship, I feel like it's, like, pretty mid. But surely with that, like, we're just going to be more fine against the AI and stuff, too, right? I mean, you would think... Okay. Carpet spikes. I guess not. The Apache Dart Ship just sucks, bro. Jesus, man. <laughs> okay, but at least we have that now. Um, we can go for more heli farms as well. I might just sell this at this point. Probably should, right? Yeah. Because instead, maybe we should have our eventual super mines right here as well. Super mines would definitely go crazy right there. So, yeah, we'll possibly work towards going for that. And I guess we could upgrade it a little bit right now. We could sell you. Maybe go for a perma spike as well. Just show some love to all of the tier 5s within our strategy, okay? So, target you to close as well. Beautiful. But definitely should still focus on spamming the heck out of these heli farms, okay? Now, as it gets closer and closer to round 39. Because if this guy wants to take us all the way to round 40. I really mean round 39. But as it gets closer and closer to that round. We're going to have to start preparing our defenses a little bit more. So, again, we just need to pop off fortified BAD lairs. Which, I, I mean, I could go for spike storms. Spike storm might be the most cost-effective way. I mean, we could also go for mob maulers and mob assassins. Those are pretty cheap. But without having, like, striker or biker as our hero, not sure if that's going to be the necessary best play. So, I'm thinking, yeah, spike storms. I don't really want to go for helis. Helis are pretty expensive. Spike storms... 
aren't really all that expensive. So, yeah, I guess we can just start going for those. Ugh, I really want to go for the super mines, but of course he's stealing my cash again, bro. He's just got to be that guy. I never even upgraded to the balloon crush, by the way. So, got to make sure that we are somewhat ready for that, too. Uh, but the reason why I'm not building up heli farms at the moment is, again, I just want to have the super mines, like, kind of ready. You know, just so it starts producing the super mine spike balls at the same time as well. I don't want to go for it last second. Uh, but it is already round 30 freaking 6. Okay, so, do I continue then on going for more heli farms? Maybe I don't, actually. Because, like, bro, he, he has to rush us in this situation. There's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. So, you know what? Yeah, we, we should just focus on our defenses. Let's go for a perma spike. Although, that's a pretty late perma spike, I can't lie. Better late than never, though. Okay, and he's going to rush us here. Okay, we're fine here. Okay, got to watch out for everything underneath. Okay, we're good, we're good. Maybe did not need a tower boost that. We're good. Okay, blue crush. Beautiful. All right, we're going to be good against all the insides now with that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Especially, too, with the uh, super mines right there. But, yeah, definitely did not need a tower boost, but we still have two. Uh, I don't know why I'm building this up again. That was pretty dumb. Yeah, let's just focus on defenses. So, definitely the best thing for him to do would to be to send spaced fortified BADs. If he sends them all at once, I'm honestly probably going to try it. Because, again, all we need to worry about now are the BAD layers and then the DDTs underneath, which the Spike Factory should hopefully handle those pretty well. And then we'll be smooth sailing. Okay, I'm going to use all of these heli abilities maybe just one more time here. So now... Okay, wait, I have a few more coming in. And then I'm going to sell off all of my heli farms and just go for Spike Factories because he has to rush us. Like, we have the life advantage by a mile here. So he doesn't necessarily have a choice. We could go for... The middle path Moab Eliminator, because why not? So, uh, yeah, so... Okay, this ability is about to come back. Oh, wait. Okay, screw it. Marine Monkey. Okay. Can we go for this? No, we can't. Okay. We're good here. No! Bro! I just spike storm like multiple times! You're lying, bro! I knew DDTs were gonna be an issue! There's no way that just killed us! I literally just spike storm. I should have been more ready. I thought round 38 was gonna last a little bit longer. That is 100% on me, but I still feel like that was a pretty good attempt with today's challenge, so. GG's. Also, if you guys want to see more challenge content like this or enjoy these videos, let me know by dropping a like. Again, let's try to hit 2,000 likes on today's video and subscribe to the channel. 500,000 by the end of the year. Thank you so much. And if you haven't already, make sure to check out this video where this tower destroys BADs in seconds. And no, that is not clickbait.